President Lula has only been in office for six months, but and this is according to the AP, after four years of rising destruction in the Brazil's Amazon, deforestation has dropped 33.6% in the first six months of Lula da Silva's, again, this is not his first term, his second term, according to government satellite data released Thursday. The years, this year's data includes a 41% plunge in alerts for June, which marks the start of the dry season when deforestations tend to jump. This is important to know because under Bolsonaro, who by the way, prohibited from running for office again in Brazil. Amazing what real democracies can do. Um, Brazil basically hollowed out its its version of the EPA known as Ibama. And agents in Ibama, Graphic 7, retired. They weren't replaced during Bolsonaro's administration. And ref, that reflected his effort to defang environmental authorities. Lula has committed to restoring the workforce, however. But the number of Ibama enforcement agents remains at its lowest in 24 years. Again, this is a country that's bigger than the continu- contiguous US. There's just 700 agents with 150 available for deployment. You guys need to understand something about the Amazon that I Understand, even though I've never been there. But no, we understand the Amazon is massive. It, these are the lungs of the world, but definitely the Western Hemisphere. And when it comes to deforestation, yes, a lot of that is propelled by governments, but specifically in a place like the Amazon, it's propelled by illegal logging, illegal cattle ranching, just deforestation because you can make a buck. And honestly, it's so difficult to access to enforce you not doing it. And the financial incentive is too great. That many people just do it. it is it is for lack of a better term, it's a jungle out there. Um, so that's why this kind of enforcement is really important. But I do want to point out that it's not enough. And so um, Adevaldo Diaz, who's a rubber tapper leader and presides over the Chico Mendez Memorial, a nonprofit organization that assists with non-indigenous communities in the Amazon, says that we. It is necessary to invest in sustainable productive chains under community management. That means local stuff, Brazil nuts, vegetable oils, and acai, he told the AP. This will help revitalize and expand these chains, generating decent income for those engaged in conservation efforts within their territories. I.e. support local communities to preserve their land and they will preserve it um, without financial incentive. Grow local things instead of cattle, instead of deforestation, instead of you know paper mills. What about these things that will not destroy the Amazon, but will help it flourish? Brett, jump in. Listen, I've been watching a lot of TYT and TYT hates Amazon. So I don't know what's <laughs> with the double standard. Uh, no, I support anything that protects the environment and allows the local uh, people to thrive. It seems like a win-win. Hell yeah, um, I'm I'm excited for what's to come in Brazil, and hopefully some of the damage that Bolsonaro caused can be reversed. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.